Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I got some time in our altered book. This is a Patreon exclusive, so um, enjoy. It was fun doing it, uh, fun to be back in the altered book. So, uh, not much more to be said from me. See you on the table. Alright, here's our two page spread. Mod Podge is not quite dry yet. A couple of very fun pages. Um, chalk pastels in the background, underpants, um, texture paste, uh, stays on ink for some noise, a couple of delicious little focal points. This is our playtime for today. Good morning. I have a book in front of me, our altered book, and it looks like I've already put some underpants on this page. I'm going to kind of clip that down so that I can play on these two pages. I am, oh, maybe on this side too, huh? have to be careful not to put too much stress on the spine. I'm going to bring in some of my texture paste, and I am just going to smear it on one of those pages. Actually smear it on both of those pages. So I've smeared the texture paste on both pages. I'm just going to take these pages and smush them together. I learned that term in art school. Smush. <laughs> A, it's not an art term. B, I didn't take any art classes. <laughs> All right, and Let's see if we can tear those apart now. Ah, look at that. Gorgeous. All right, we're going to let it dry. Now what's fun about this texture paste is when you smush it together, it's quite pointed. And as it dries, it softens, which I really, really like. I put some clear gesso on my workspace right here, right out of camera, but it's right there and I have some chalk pastels. Now this is something that we played with in our, um, I don't know if we've done it in an altered book, but we played with it in our background challenges for July, or for June. So, we'll see what happens here. Oh, I need that darker. And a little bit of clear gesso to extend that out. I think I don't like those chalks. Let me see if I can get my other chalks, my other chalk pastels. Yeah, all chalk pastels are not created equal. Those were some that were gifted to me. These are some that I have in my inventory. And these are much softer. And so I get a more dense color. I am moving some of the texture paste and I'm okay with that. A little bit of clear gesso. Look at the difference in the colors. So just blend that around with some clear gesso. It, it keeps it in place. It's no longer dusty. And I'll go back over this page after it dries. All right, we will let that dry. And then we'll play with another color. Now I'm going to bring in some purple. Tearing that up a little bit. I am okay with that. Can't have too much texture. That's for sure. All right. Clear gesso. That's oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Let that dry somewhat <laughs> and then bring in yet another color. All right, I'm going to bring some pink in. 
around that top area. Can't wait for it to dry completely. Not only that, I use a heat gun, which heats that texture paste, which makes it a little bit fragile. But I am, yes, okay with that. All right, clear gesso, bring that pink through. Gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, let that dry, sort of. All right, once it's dry and cool, I'm going to take some sandpaper to it. So this is after sanding, and this is before. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this page. Dust those gorgeous pages off. Now we could leave it like this. That could be artist's choice, but yeah, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to bring in the closest that I have to ochre in the chalk pastels, and I'm going to add some of that as a layer. Bring in some clear gesso. Just smear that around. Yes, please. And we will let that dry. So this is a collage that I did uh, on one of our traveling adventures. All I had was a traveling magazine and a Somerset magazine and a glue stick. And I had some time on my hands, so I got to play with this collage. So I'm going to cut this collage apart and use some of it for my focal points. Just going to use my X-Acto. Cut some of these yummy things out. I'm going to bring in this color with the pan pastel just a little bit with my fingers. I'll bring the stays on ink and just the, these are trees, but I'm just looking for some noise, some horizontal noise. Lots of black horizontal noise. I'm going to bring in some white acrylic paint, one of my blending sponges, and a fun stencil. I've heard that some of you are having trouble with um, the stencils and the blending sponge. What I can tell you is thick paint and not much on your blending sponge. Okay, then it doesn't ook out under the, <laughs> another art term. Then it doesn't ook out under the stencil. And you can put kind of just a, a fun faded look, a worn distressed look. I'm just going to apply more stencil to the pages. Oh my gosh, look at that background. Yes. Okay, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to put some focal points on it. This is one of those ones. Cover it? No, don't! But we're going to. Okay, here's some focal points that I pulled out of that collage. These are some uh, skeleton, leaf skeletons that I will put under him. This is very fun. This is, I have this guy who's in bed and he is sewing this doll up. And I'm going to put him. I guess we'll lift him up a little bit, put him someplace in there, and then I'm going to sew the edges uh, just with a marker. Uh, at least that's my intention. We shall see. So I'm going to put some Mod Podge on these guys and put them down. Now this is why I use a paper towel <laughs> to push my images down, because my hands are usually quite decorated. So this is kind of interesting. When I play with her head, her head wants to come off. So I am going to help that along, and I'm just going to tear it right there, hopefully. Not ruin the whole thing. That's good. And then I'm going to <laughs> extend her head up a little bit. 
There we go. So he has something to mend. I'm going to cut these wings in half. Well, cut the leaf in half. All right, I'm going to put violet on the top of his head. And then I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the leaf skeletons. Let's bring that book back in. Gonna have to move his wing in a little bit. Bring in the other wing. Mod Podge on the back of him and her and the wings. Bring him back into the page. Do a Mod Podge finger on this one. And we know that I can keep rubbing as long as I have Mod Podge on my finger and my finger's moist once it dries out can't do this anymore. I'm going to let these guys dry. These are gorgeous pages, so what I'm going to do is go around the edges of the pages and the edges of the focal points with my Stabilo on both pages. I'm going to come in with a needle and thread because this guy is actually sewing. He's got a thimble and a thread. We'll see how this works. Okay, so what I've done is I've sewn up the side and just a couple of threads up to the head. His hand is where his needle is, so I'm going to just poke my needle through here so that he's holding the thread in his hand. Snip that off. I'll take some Mod Podge on my finger and just secure these threads in place. That dry and that is a big ta-da. You know I want to grab the white paint pen. You know that. I'm gonna do it. And this is the Arteza white paint pen. Can't resist. There we go. <laughs> Pretty darn glorious. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.